Alright, so with the new Resident Evil movie coming out, Death Island, I'm really looking forward to it. I really am. <laughs> and Claire is coming back, and she's going to be... So we got Claire, Jill, Leon, and Rebecca. I don't know why there's no Barry, but whatever. Or maybe he's in the movie, or he'll play some role. I don't know. So I wanted to do a versus match between Kamaru Nayagi versus Claire Redfield. They have some, I mean, they have some things in common. Well, for starters, both of them have big brothers who save the world multiple times and are part of organizations who help save the world. Future Foundation and Stars, then later the BSAA. And then Chris went joined on Blue Umbrella. Both Kamaru and Claire were kidnapped at, um, yeah, and they were forced to play a game where they have, like, wristbands. If you try to leave the place you're in, you blow up or die. Uh, okay, so Claire's fought all kinds of zombies. And has even fought tyrants like Mr. Rex and... Is that the old Diane Claire fought? Alright. Well, she's 18. Okay, so Claire is 35 uh, by the yeah, Resident Evil Gen. I think she's like 35 by this game. Wait, no, this movie. No, wait, no. She's 35 in the Resident Evil Infinite Darkness anime, which is, I think is the last thing she's in. So this one's kind of, um, close. Alright, so Kamaru should be... Alright, um... Now she does have the... Okay, so her weapon is basically the... Hacking gun. So it's basically a megaphone amp to shoot, like, code or other stuff from it. Okay, we got electricity for paralyzed, shockwave, knockback bullets, move bullets, break, um, burn bullets, which, which is a flamethrower. Um, unfortunately, there were some problems with the hacking gun. It, I mean, it was... It was definitely strong enough to move, um, Big Bang Monokuma. I'm not gonna count the shot that she did to destroy Big Bang Monokuma because she had help. Well, Toko's, um, yeah, charging gun was able to... Shoot, um... Yeah, if you got it with a taser and a handgun, she was able to blast and destroy the Big Bang Monokuma. Um, let's see. Unfortunately, some of the stuff does not work on humans. The break bullet does is, is cold. It only works on machines. The fire, the burn bullet, I guess, is actual fire, so that could work. Electricity, yes. The knockback bullets don't do no damage, just knocks you back. Um, detect bullet would be completely useless as, I mean, it could detect clues, I guess it could probably use to find where Claire is hiding. Move only works on vehicles, so, and this has to be like a self-driving car too. I guess one could say that the brake one, I mean, it could damage Toko's taser, so it's possible... The break one can damage or destroy Claire's guns. As for as, as for her power, um, um, yeah, but it says it's she should be large town level with a hacking gun. Which, yes and no, she didn't destroy Big Bang Monokuma. She damaged it. The only way, yeah, she did destroy it because she charged up. With, yeah, the taser supercharged her hacking gun and did a powerful blast that destroyed Big Bang Monokuma. Technically, she did not destroy Big Bang Monokuma by herself. She had help. 
Okay, um... That's a problem. The hacking, yes, um, uh, most of the guns, are f yeah. Anyone who isn't a machine is immune to most of the guns' effects. So I guess you could just this would destroy Claire's weapons. And there's a hacking gun, basically a megaphone. All right, we got. Break, move, dance, knock back, paralyze, burn, and link, help. Ooh, we can't use help. She needs Toko as help. Alrighty, let's get down to Claire Redfield. Alrighty, so Claire's been... I really want Code Veronica X Remake happen soon. Alright, so I'm gonna be using, like, both Code Veronica X games. The Dark Side one. I'm also gonna be using Dark Side Chronicles for Claire as well to make this fight more fair. Alrighty, this fight's kinda not really fair. Um, to make this fight fair, the fight has to take place in Toa City, giving Kamal the advantage. Because if it happened in Raccoon City or anywhere else, again, she she needs the, like, the environment to actually attack her opponents. Alright, Jay. Come on, don't do this. She has herbs she can use to heal. First aid spray. Okay, so you can also damage reduction by mixing red or blue or green, red, green, and blue, which temporary damage reductions. Okay, that's cool. So she should be a large building. Oh, that's right. Kamala's best defense feat is surviving a helicopter crash and a big explosion from Tower Tower, Tower which would put her at small building level defense. Uh, Claire should be able to easily one shot her with the rocket launcher. I'll probably say that'll be a little, it'll be difficult. But with Claire's weapons, um, okay, so relativistic should be faster than, well, subsonic. Yeah, she basically has fought many B.O.W.s over the years. Tyrants and all stuff like that. Um, she does have a lot of weapons. Um, let's take a look. Alright, she has pistols, knife, shotguns, crossbow with explosive bolts, rifles, grenade launcher, etc. In Resident Evil Revelation 2, you can mix different type of grenades. One for a smokescreen... One for, like, the one to attract zombies to it. And another one, like, uh, Molotov, basically. I feel like Claire wins this one. She has more combat experience. Kamaru's guns won't do... Most of it won't do nothing to her. I, well, I mean, the electricity should zap Claire and do damage to her. But the hacking gun, ew, this one's kind of not really fair, I'm thinking more about it as, again, most of Kamau's hacking gun won't do nothing to Claire. <laughs> oh boy, um... Um, she does have, like, Gatling guns. Now, she can dam- Kamau can damage many of the weapons until she runs out of ammo. But I don't think that would stop a, like a smoke bomb or flashbang, which would stun Kamaru. 
And then Claire was just saying, use a rocket launcher and just blast Kamaru and she's not going to survive a single rocket launcher blast. Or multiple ones of that. So, I think with that, Claire should win this one. It sounds a bit iffy. I mean, Kamara was definitely stronger with her hacking gun. And she's definitely faster. But the biggest problem is her hacking gun, most of her ammo for her hacking gun is completely useless against a non-machine. You can say she can damage Claire's guns or destroy them, but what happens when she runs out of break ammo? She'll be completely defenseless. And that won't save her from, like, grenades or heavy explosives that Claire could have. So, yeah, the winner's Claire Redfield. Alright, comment below if you think this match would be okay. I don't think Death Battle will ever do this as a matchup. But I hope someone does, because my goodness, um... Alright, I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Well, bye.